So looking at our imagery, we can see that there's an existing water course here that might be a suitable discharge point for our network. So let's finish the network design by placing a, a head wall for the outfall of the network. So we'll select the terrain model, the existing ground terrain model there as the reference elevation and we'll place the head wall invert a little below that elevation and just rotate that head wall around. So now that we've placed that head wall, we can see it in the 3D model. Let's now place a conduit, so a 300 millimeter pipe between the inlet and the head wall. Now that conduit's going to be designed at a default gradient. So I'm going to select that conduit and say that I do not want to design the stop invert level and I'm going to specify the stop invert level to tie into the head wall. That completes the physical aspect of the network. So let's now have a look at how it looks in profile. So I'm going to create a new profile run. I'm going to select that outfall. Click OK to create a profile that goes up through all of the pipes that contributes to that outfall. I can now click on profile runs and click on the profile that's been created. So we can see the profile through along our ground model and our pipes, but we can see that there's no water in the pipes yet because we haven't designed the network hydraulically. So to do that, we'll go to our scenarios and we'll compute the design scenario. This is going to calculate the runoff from the catchments, route it down through the pipes, size the pipes accordingly. That's now complete, so we can have a look at the details and see the runoff from our catchments, the depth of water in the pipes, and so on. If we go back to our analysis profile now, we can see the hydraulic grade line and the energy grade line in our pipe network. And we can also see if we select one of the pipes, its hydraulic properties show that the diameter has been increased to 375 millimetres to carry the flow in that pipe without surcharging. So that's designed our drainage network to cope with a 10 year storm. What if we wanted to check it with a larger storm? So we can use an analysis scenario to do that and we can change the rainfall event so we create a new rainfall event call it a 50 year storm and then we can edit that rainfall event and choose the storm that we want to use if we compute the analysis scenario and have a look at our profile again. We can see how that network performs with the larger storm event, and we can see that we've now got some surcharging in the network.